Kish. Kish was the father of King Saul, the first king of Israel. He was the great-grandfather of Mordecai, who is spoken of in the book of Esther, chapter 2, verse 5. He's buried in Zila. The word means hard, difficult. In Greek, the name means a snare. In Hebrew, the name means bent. There was a man of Benjamin whose name was Kish. 1 Samuel chapter 9, verse 1. In ancient Israel, a person could be identified in three ways. By family lineage, by tribal ancestry, and by their social status. The Bible introduces Kish in all three ways. But he is chiefly remembered as the father of Saul, the first king of Israel. Kish lived in a time of change. The people of Israel had failed to conquer Canaan. They were led by judges who responded to crises, but who could not restore the spiritual health to Israel. The nation was clamoring for a king. One day, Kish sent Saul to find several donkeys that had wandered off. Saul never did find those donkeys, but he did meet Samuel, the judge, during his search. Though the events appeared to be coincidental, God had arranged a divine appointment between Samuel and Saul. Kish's son returned home as the newly appointed king of Israel. When Kish sent Saul after the donkeys, he was preparing his son for the responsibilities he would inherit one day. He trained Saul to be his heir, without knowing that his son would one day be king. Like Kish, we seldom know what paths our children will ultimately follow. We can't be sure that they will absorb the best we can offer them. But a stable family provides the best way to transmit important values. How do you help your children develop skills they will need every day? Ask God to help you develop the wisdom and the discernment that you need to be the best parent that you can be. Your child's best inheritance is a godly upbringing. You can read more about Kish in 1 Samuel chapter 9 verses 1 through 3, 1 Samuel chapter 14 verse 51, and in the book of Acts chapter 13 verse 21.